NASA laser will monitor Earth's melting ice. According to reports from NASA, the agency plans to launch an advanced laser instrument which would be used to monitor our planet's melting polar ice. NASA's new laser, ISAT-2, would have the ability to collect more than 250 times the height measurements of polar ice compared to its predecessor. The laser also uses a new system called ATLAS, which would enable it to send trillions of photons within six beams of green light to the ground, firing 10,000 times each second. The laser would also have the ability to measure ice on Greenland and Antarctica within the width of a pencil by capturing 60,000 measurements each second. It would also be able to time how long it takes for light photons in the green light to travel to and from Earth. NASA says ISAT-2 will get a more detailed view of the ice surface as it circles the Earth from pole to pole, measuring ice heights along the way four times a year. NASA says the mission is scheduled to last for three years and hopes this new technology will bring about new data about our planet's melting ice and how it's changing. More laser stories. Play nice, China. The U.S. has filed a formal complaint with China after pilots in Africa were targeted by unauthorized Chinese laser activity. The U.S. military's Camp Le Monnier base is located in Djibouti, just a few miles from China's first overseas naval base, which was opened last year. According to a Pentagon spokeswoman, two pilots on a C-130 cargo plane were beamed with high-powered lasers while landing at the U.S. base, resulting in minor eye injuries. Similar incidents had also been reported in recent weeks. Citing intelligence sources, IHS Jane's Defense Weekly reports that the Chinese Navy is suspected of using the laser weapons at their base or on a ship offshore. Reports from American pilots indicated that the lasers were of military grade and originated from the Chinese base on at least three occasions. The U.S. has also requested an investigation on the incidents, although Beijing has yet to respond. Chinese military observers did tell the South China Morning Post it's possible the lasers were being used to scare off birds or spy drones and may not have been targeting the pilots at all. Right. The U.S. Navy wants lasers. The Navy is looking for a few good lasers, big ones. The U.S. Navy has awarded a 150 million U.S. dollar contract to Lockheed Martin for two Helios weapon systems by 2020. The Helios system combines a laser weapon, long-range intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance (ISR), and counter-unmanned aerial system capabilities. It's designed to counter drones and small boats, as well as provide long-range ISR capabilities to decision-makers. The first unit will be integrated onto an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, while the second unit will be used for land testing at the White Sands Missile Range. Ashley, what the Navy needs to be spending money on is some frickin' sharks with laser beams. China to clean up space junk with lasers. From magnets to giant nets, scientists have thought of all sorts of ways to rid the Earth of its space garbage, but leave it to China to come up with the most audacious plan. Earth's orbit is currently cluttered with fragments from old satellites and rocket stages called space debris, which number at least 20,000. Satellites and spacecrafts are frequently at risk of colliding with the fragments and being damaged by even small, pebble-sized pieces. To address this problem, Chinese researchers have proposed launching a satellite-mounted laser that will emit short bursts of infrared light to target small debris. The laser will break down the space debris into tiny, harmless particles and hopefully rid the Earth of its space junk. The plan sounds reasonable enough, but of course, with China, there's no telling if the space laser will actually be for cleaning or be used as a tool for world domination. NASA's laser-powered spacecraft aims to reach Mars in 72 hours. NASA scientist Philip Lubin is working on perfecting laser technology that could propel a light spacecraft to Mars in as little as three days. Photons emitted from excited atoms in a laser have energy and momentum, which forms the basis of laser-based propulsion. Photons are released in a beam from a laser. When photons from a laser array reflect off an object, their energy is translated into a push that's capable of moving objects like a spacecraft. Rather than using a giant laser a la the Death Stars, researchers imagine an array made up of a large number of amplifiers that sync up and act like one big laser. The spacecraft launched with this technology will include a robotic probe and a large reflective sail. The spacecraft will be light because no fuel is needed. 
and this spacecraft could be accelerated to 30% the speed of light, which was previously unheard of. This technology could produce enough momentum to get a robotic spacecraft to Mars in three days and send a manned shuttle to Mars in a month. Using photonic propulsion, interstellar travel may be possible, and we could get a probe to Earth's nearest star, Alpha Centauri, in as little as 15 years. In comparison, our current technology takes four to eight months to get to Mars. It took 37 years for the Voyager 1 spacecraft to reach the edge of our solar system. U.S. fighter planes are getting an upgrade. The U.S. is finally taking a page from Star Wars and is now looking to equip its fighter planes with high-energy lasers. Lockheed Martin has been awarded a 26.2 million contract to design, develop, and build a high-energy laser weapon for the U.S. Air Force's SHIELD program. The company delivered a 60-kilowatt laser for U.S. Army ground vehicles early this year and will produce a smaller system to test on tactical aircraft by 2021. Airborne laser weapons can defend against threats from enemy missiles, boosting the self-defense capabilities of military jets. The Lockheed Martin laser is one of three subsystems that make up the SHIELD program. A beam control system is being developed by Northrop Grumman, while a pod to power and cool the laser is being designed by Boeing. Scientists hope to launch interstellar fleet of laser-propelled spacecraft. A hit team of renowned scientists, Silicon Valley elites, and a billionaire businessman have come together to launch a fleet of postage stamp-sized interstellar spacecraft. Sounds like the pitch for a bad Bond movie, right? Well, if it was, 007 would have his hands full. Because this team includes scientist supreme Dr. Stephen Hawking, Russian billionaire Yuri Milner, and Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. All technology, including the camera for the tiny interstellar spacecraft, will be placed inside a postage stamp-sized chip. Called a starship, this device would come with a light sail to form a nanocraft. The sail has a surface that would use Earth-based laser light to propel it along. The lasers would come from a mile-wide laser array potentially situated 13,000 feet above sea level in the Atacama Desert in South America. Using light energy from the 100-gigawatt laser array, the team plans to send a fleet of these nanocrafts to our closest star system, Alpha Centauri. If successful, a nanocraft could travel at 20% of the speed of light, or 134.2 million miles per hour, using laser light propulsion. At that speed, a nanocraft could traverse the 25 trillion miles to Alpha Centauri in a matter of decades, while a current spacecraft would take thousands of years. Dubbed Breakthrough Starshot, Milner has invested around $100 million in the nanocraft concept. However, it will still potentially cost billions and could take up to 30 years to get a swarm of the devices into space if the concept is shown to be successful.